All right, so this is the first of what will be a series of tutorials, just introducing you to the basic functions and you know workflows of 3D Studio Max. Um, basically, I'm just going to create, I'm just going to make a few models and pretty much explain what I'm doing as I go along and introduce you into what is my workflow for creating 3D models. Now, just starting off, I'm going to maximize the viewport, and I reckon just a house would be a really good sort of. Uh, starting point. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a box, not too big, and what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to give it two width segments, and then what I'm going to do is you can either right click on the object here and go editable poly, or you can right click on box under the modify tab and convert to an editable poly that way. Now what you want to do is grab these verts, move them along a bit, Probably not that much. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this polygon and I'm going to go down here to extrude and bring this out because, well, a house isn't that interesting unless you make it a bit uh, less square. In fact, I'm going to bring that back a bit. So this is pretty much the beginnings of what will be the roof of a house, though it may not look it yet. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to select these edges and I'm going to go down to connect once I find it. There we go, connect. And that splits all the edges I've got in half. So now there's a line down this way. I'm going to do that the same here. And now what I can do is I can select these vertices and I can drag it up create the roof. Now you can see just here and here there is a, there is a problem where um, the uh, it doesn't really know how to render the uh, shape because it's actually bending what should be a flat surface. So the way you fix that is you go under vertex mode and when you scroll down you want to find cut and what cut can do is it'll pretty much split this polygon in half or in three or however many parts I want it to be in so if we just go like this we get cut and you'll notice that when you hover over uh, see over just over somewhere in the polygon it's kind of a square with a crosshair and when you hover over a line it's a very wide crosshair when you hover over vert it's just a normal crosshair now that's where you want to be, so you click on this vert, you go down to this one, and small cross here again, so you click again, then you right click just to end that. And now, see, that's fixed that already. Now what we can do is we'll go over here and do the same on this side. Now that's fixed that for us. Now what we've actually just done is we've created more geometry than what we actually need. Now this... This vertice here, in fact, this whole these edges aren't actually necessary. So what we can do is we can select the edges themselves. Now, if we hit backspace, that removes them. But that's leaving the vert there. So we'll select that and we'll hit backspace again. Now that's gone. Now this is still okay because it's still a four-sided polygon. You usually want to go with four-sided or if you really can't help it, you want you can have three-sided polygons. Um, when it comes to making models and games, three-sided pretty much is what happens because everything gets converted into, an into a mesh rather than a polygon, uh, editable poly, and so in the mesh, what happens is each face is cut in half to become a triangle. So we'll just undo that. Now as you can see here, we've still got this extra geometry just here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go vert, backspace, and you can see that just broke everything. So what we want to do is, same as before, edges, and vertice, backspace. In fact we've still got some vertices just here. And you can see we're just causing more and more breakage here. So what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of these bottom vertices and we're going to just delete those. Alright, so that's starting to look a bit neater again. 
and uh, we pretty much have what we want. And so this is basically the beginning of our house. So what we'll actually do is we'll bring this down a little bit because I think it's a bit high. And if I can make that flatter. So now I've got a very nice roof shape, which I think I might scale up just a tad. Oh, that'll do. Right, so we've got the roof shape, but now we need to make more of the uh, actual building, I guess. So what I'm actually going to do is grab the border. So that because I've made this hole, it'll grab everything around it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hit cap. And because that sort of uh, breaks things as far as, you know, nice polygons, because this is actually a... Several, this has got lots of sides and this actually really isn't good because it's sort of bending in on itself. So what I'm going to do is from here and here I'm going to cut just so I've got two regular polygons again. So we'll scroll down and we'll cut. And there we go. Now, we've got a problem here where that's creating more geometry again, but we'll fix that later because what we're actually going to do is we're going to inset and make this stick out a bit, you know, but that's part of the prettiness, later, prettiness part of it later. So what we're going to do is select this, these polygons that we've just made and we're going to go inset. I'm going to inset just a little bit because the roof ne is never flush with the walls so that's inset and now when we extrude downwards that looks more realistic because the roof will always stick out just a little bit and now just because I can what we're going to do is I'm going to cut from oops, under vertex because you want to cut between verts from here to here and now what we have is the beginnings of a sort of veranda once we find extrude. Now extrude normally doesn't quite work out for us so what we're going to do is we're going to click this box here and hopefully this shows up but of the three rows we've got the sort of type of extrude and the amount that we're extruding i.e. the height we've got you know accept and whatever we want to change group to local normal and as you can see that's kind of doing what we want so we'll shrink that down a little bit until we're about happy with it and yeah, that looks alright small problem with this bit here so what we're just going to do is in fact we're going to lower these parts first the veranda will slant just ever so slightly and then what we're going to do is we're going to go uh, this edge Hold on. this edge now we want to copy the Y position so Y is that and we'll grab this one and paste that in there and what I just did there I right clicked on the move tool and I brought up the move transform uh, type in box so basically I can specifically type in the coordinates of where I want to move whatever I have selected. And I'm going to do the same again, but this is on the X axis this time. And so the X position is 80.613 and 80.613. So now that that's all, you know, nice looking, I guess. Next thing I want to do is we've got our walls, but now we need a well, I guess we need uh, you know, a porch or whatever. So we'll just shrink that down a bit, and what we're going to do is grab edge. And I'm going to grab the individual edges, and what we're going to do is we're going to extrude outwards, you know, if we don't accidentally deselect it. So holding shift, I have this edge selected. Holding shift, we're going to bring it out. We're going to bring that out, and that's not working because this polygon's here. 
try not to make that mistake, folks. Holding shift and then moving that out. And in fact, what we'll do is we'll just bring that out however the hell much we want. And we'll align it with this portion here. So now that's all nicely lined up. And what we can do is we'll select those two verts and we'll go down weld. And because they're close enough together, weld actually merges them. So now that's actually one vert, which controls both edges. So now that we've got part of the porch, we need to do the other side. Now, well, a good bit about this is we can just bring it out as much as we deem necessary. In fact, we'll just go to the top and we'll just make it kind of line up with the roof. Because, you know, that makes sense. Just go back to perspective. Now, our house is starting to look more like a house. Uh, what have we got? We've got 11 minutes. Yeah, it's plenty of time. Now, what we're going to do is grab the border and we're going to drag it down again. And so now we've got, you know, the foundations and we'll just cap that off. In fact, we'll go to the bottom. And. Oops. Uh, we'll sort that out later. In fact, we don't actually need the bottom part because in we're not actually going to see the bottom because the bottom's going to intersect with you know terrain or something like that. So we've got the porch here, but the porch needs you know maybe like a handrail. Like we definitely need vertical supports up here. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a square base and we're going to bring up so much. We don't need two width segments here. Oops. And in fact, let's just bring that to the zero, zero, zero origin. Now we'll go top and we'll go wireframe. And what we'll do is we'll stick that about there. In fact, what we'll do is we'll make the first one the corner and we'll work our way inwards. So that looks about right but rather than just have you know boring you know square support what we're going to do is we're going to mirror that vertically which is the z-axis and we're going to copy rather than cl um, not clone it I guess and what we're going to do is in fact we'll collapse those and when you collapse, you go to, it automatically creates and it makes them an editable mesh. So what we're going to do is we're going to right click and convert to editable poly. So I'm going to grab these verts here and we're going to bring them in just a little bit. And now to make that a little bit more interesting, what we're going to do is we're going to go cylinder. And we don't need five height segments, one should be enough. And we'll go eight sides. So now we've got what is beginning to look like you know a proper you know roofing support that looks a little bit less boring and in fact I think we'll go a little bit further once we scale that up we'll go three height segments convert to editable poly polygon scale that up and then we'll scale that inwards just a tad what that really should be is five height segments so in fact we've changed our mind and the default is actually a good idea now so what we're going to do is select this part scale it up and select those parts and scale it up again and now what we're going to do is this portion will scale inwards and up a little bit and so now we've got a fairly nice looking thing now I'm gonna have to stop this there because I'm running out of time but next bit we're gonna add handrails and some steps and make everything look pretty alright that's it